Autophagy is primarily induced through starvation, which is why many people opt for fasting to help improve the this process in their body. Fasting helps to increase autophagy, which means the body is more capable of recycling waste materials that may be found within cells. Even though fasting is considered a great way to induce the particular process, scientists are hard at work to see how additional measures can be taken to benefit autophagy further and make the process even more effective. Exercise is one particular area that has gained a lot of attention recently. Scientists have discovered that certain types of exercises can help to induce autophagy faster, especially when combined with fasting. It is, however, important to consider the potential differences between various types of exercises and how they affect the autophagy process in particular. In one study, scientists used mutant mice in order to generate the particular benefits that exercise would have on autophagy. During the study, the researchers provided evidence that exercise is indeed a beneficial method for inducing BCL2-regulated autophagy. The study further found that the particular type of autophagy is crucial component for achieving homeostasis of muscle glucose. A study published in the Journal of Oxidative Medicine and Cellular Longevity studied the important connection between aerobic exercise and autophagy. The researchers behind the study explained that autophagy seems to play a crucial role in providing an improvement in the utilization and transportation of oxygen throughout the body, especially during aerobic exercises at a higher altitude. The study further summarizes the potential effects of inducing autophagy through stressors, such as the use of aerobic exercises on overall and performance during training. The benefits were clear when participants of the study were asked to perform such exercises at a high altitude. A study that was led by scientists at the Institute of Neuroscience in Belgium also found that cardio exercises seem to be effective in providing a significantly higher activation of the autophagy process within skeletal muscle tissue. The effects were significantly elevated when the study subjects were performing low intensity cardio exercises in a fasted state compared to a fed state. This provides evidence that the combination of fasting and cardio training holds the potential to offer a significant improvement in autophagy within muscle tissue as well as possibly other tissues throughout the body. In another study, ultra endurance training was used to induce autophagy and was shown to also have certain potential benefits in triggering certain types of autophagy processes in the body. The AMPK pathway was activated with the training program, which is essential for protein breakdown and synthesis and the stimulation of autophagy that is involved in muscle homeostasis. At the same time, it needs to be noted that excessive exercise along with a fasted state could become disadvantageous. Catabolism and muscle atrophy can occur in the exercise that is too excessive. Instead of resistance training causing muscle growth, in this case, muscle mass would rather be broken down and anabolic growth would be suppressed. Resistance training such as weightlifting and other strength training exercise protocols also affects autophagy. In one study, scientists determined if resistance training could be useful in the aging population and possibly assist in reducing common issues that come up with age. There were 26 healthy individuals who participated in the study with a mean age of 69. Following this study, researchers found that this type of training protocol effectively stimulates and activates the process of autophagy, which is exceptionally beneficial as it is known that the process of autophagy tends to decrease with age. The activation of NLRP3 inflammation was also prevented during this process. The results regarding resistance training are somewhat mixed. However, in one study, scientists found that the activation of autophagy is more significant among the younger male population when resistance training is taken into account. They did, however, find that the response of unfolded proteins in the body initiated by resistance training protocols seemed to be beneficial for men of all ages. These studies have shown that both resistance training and endurance exercises can certainly be beneficial for the activation of autophagy. 
It is important, however, to note that some studies showed a more promising effect in younger individuals when resistance training was used. Furthermore, each of these training protocols seemed to come with unique additional benefits that should also be accounted for. Thus, an appropriate combination of the two programs may yield the best results in order to activate autophagy and benefit from additional changes in the body. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Dr. Legrand signing out. Bye.